Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the New Smyrna boat ramp, and this is the first day of warm season that it hit above 80. Look at this place. This isn't even the busy time. We got a good show in store for you here today. Why don't you sit back, relax, and take a look. Now, trailer depth is very important in any situation. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You gotta have the right trailer depth. And that's not it right there. He checks it and sees it. She's gotta back him down just a little bit further. He gives a little thrust right there and realizes you got to stick to the age old saying you got to lick it before you stick it. But that means you got to get them bunks wet a little bit and a little bit deeper in the water. Now she backs them up just a little bit there. Now if you look at the trailer on the boat here closest to us, that's about where you need your bunks. Just a little bit sticking out the water. Now everybody's trailer will vary. Don't take mine as legal advice or helpful hint. You got to figure it out on your own. And just like this one here, my other camera didn't catch this one. There's here, something going on with his trailer. He got sideways and ripped one of the bunks off. There it is right there. Whatever he did done sheared that thing right off. You got to park the boat and get over there and fix it. Try and put it back on. Well, his second attempt does good. He gets it up there. And this one here is just right about the right depth. He's just got to give a little bit of throttle there, and he'll get that thing up there. Look at that. Perfect trailer position. Well, the pontoon Pez dispenser never disappoints over here. The only problem is, is sometimes when you got to go back, if you hesitate, you get sideways through here and then you will be ping ponging around inside them pylons. I think that's the new name, ping pong pylon. Say that a couple times. A lot of these rentals that come through here, which I don't think this one is, but a lot of these rentals will come through here and they have divots and dings on the pontoons. And that's because they went through the pontoon ping pong pylons. Now, if you do navigate these waters, you can go through either side over there. The one on the left's a little bit higher or a little bit deeper, whichever way you want to look at it. Well, he made it back. Well, good job, Captain. Made it through without any ping pongs. Well, these kids over here on the pontoon, they're coming in the dock kind of hot over here. It don't look like it, but it is. They didn't realize they're going to get a live episode of Doc McStuffin. Bam. Puts him down on all fours right there. And he runs back over to his brother. You got to take it slow. Coming in any dock, you got to take it slow. And like this right here. Check out this little scout right here. Nice and easy. They come in and approach this dock here in the perfect position. Dad takes it nice and easy. She hops off. He puts it in reverse, slows the boat down. Minimal effort on her half right there, except for tying it off, and she does a great job at it. That's it. Take some lessons, learn it, do it slow, take it easy. Take a look at these boats out here in the bay. These look nice. That one's got quads on it. That one's got twins on it. And if y'all need an adult stepson, I'm here. Now these guys get everything ready, start dropping their antennas down and getting their poles in position, making the boat ready to put it on the trailer so they can hop off and get home. A little preparation to save you some time, effort, and some money. And the only preparation you don't want is preparation H. Y'all know why. I have a feeling these boats stay in an air-conditioned garage. Look how nice they look. Here it is, right here. Look at that. Straight on, no troubles, good hand signals. And stop. 
He's on. No drama. And that's how you do it. But I guess if you have the equivalent of a house on the back of that boat right there and motors, you gotta be careful. I got a single 115 with a student motor sticker on the back. No lie. Told you, Tim. Well, this guy on the PwC comes in and sneaks next to this trailer over here. He sends her off to go get the truck and trailer. If you haven't backed up a jet ski trailer, it's one of the most rewarding things you could ever do. It's like having kids. They'll drive you crazy, they're unpredictable, and if you don't put your foot down, or I mean your tailgate down, they'll get out of control. But I want to feast your eyes on the pontoon in the back back there. That's our newest one up. He comes in there and stuffs it right in there and just stops. I don't know what he's doing, but I think he's got it kind of cockeyed and sideways. That's where the name came. He's backing straight into another boat that's coming in the dock over there. Look at this. I told you, this is chaos. I might have to say this might be one of the busiest chaotic ramps I've ever been to. If you got one like this, let me know. I might make a special trip up to see you. All right, the pontoon captain, he gets a full reset, backs it all the way back over to the Atlantic Ocean. Your, what do you tell these people to do when they're out here? And now he's gonna come in nice and slow, prepped and ready to go. Watch how smooth this second attempt is. Now I can't tell if he's still got a t-shirt on or if that's just a tan. But he's about to forget something else and the refs in blue over there save the day. Listen to that Mercury catch up. That horsepower coming all the way back from 2004. Nice job. Pontoon captain's done. He's good. They're pulling out. When I get to the point where I can't dive or run a boat anymore, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit right here. Nice job, Captain. Big old chairs that sit up real high. Look at that thing's in gear. That's what we He's in gear. Motor's down. And he's climbing off the front of the boat. It's real high. You rock it back and it's over the railing. Look at this right here. He's got this. That's nothing a lot, Well, thanks for the father son team over there. They saved the day. This guy gets his motor shut off. Well, we promised you. The, the guy with the personal watercraft grows with him. She starts to back this truck in. And she forgets to put down that tailgate. I might, I might have to go help her. If you Here's a to... second attempt at her backing it up. Let's see what she does here. Yep, getting it good. That's good. Now nah, she overcorrected it. Now anything she does is going to go the other way. Now he goes over and saves the day and backs it in. Watch this guy's backing skills. Step one, put the tailgate down. Step two, straighten it back out. Step three, send it down the ramp. That guy's good. For a little trailer, those things are a pain in the ass, especially when it dips down like that. You lose it, and you don't know which way it's going. Now, while we got this going, I want to invite you guys to check out the Facebook page group. It's a pretty nice group. I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to have a little get-together one of these days down here. You guys can come out and hang out. We'll do something. This ramp gets pretty busy in the summertime, so it's probably going to happen within the next two or three months. Don't forget to jump over there. we got about 10,000 members in it. If you want some merch, 
I got a whole store site that has t-shirts and all the other kind of fun stuff. Links in the description for that. On a nice calm note, let's take a look at this young captain, this sportsman over here. He's on the pro side ramp over here. It's real narrow and you got to do it right. Trailer looks like it's in a good position right there and watch this. That's how it's done. Nice and easy. Even Larry and Sandy the Pelicans are like, yeah, that looked good. Well, a couple fans come by waving in. Thanks for watching that. All good things come to an end. We got to wave goodbye. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing. Don't tear anything up.